Hello, this is Lolly, and I interrupt my uh, regularly scheduled programming about December Daily to show you what's new in my shop. And these are items that I just got listed today, and some of them need a little bit of explanation. I have this bone folder here on purpose, and that's because now I am stocking bone folders. I'm trying this out, and I wasn't sure how many to order at first because, you know, you really need to try a bone folder to know how well it's going to work. So, um, I, you know, we all, I have several bone folders. I think I have about three or four now. Uh, I opened this one so I could play with it, and I want to tell you my first impressions. It is super smooth. feels very good in the hand. It's nice and thin. It's not tearing my paper. Um, if you have one that, some of these are so sharp that they always tear the paper when you work on it. Um, the only papers that I've ever had tear with a good bold folder were super thin papers. This is a this is a cheap cardstock. It's not really expensive, but what I love about this is the flat end. I love a flat end bone folder so I can do all my burnishing. It's wonderful. Um, I'm I'm so thrilled with these. I'm really happy. I have limited quantity now. I will reorder some more the next time I order. The other thing I want to talk about is this. It's nice and thin some of the ones are really wide and so when you go to score you actually have almost like it's almost like two lines it's so thick and this one is not like that at all it's nice and thin i just love playing with it so there you go <laughs> i'm gonna play with this all day and keep scoring so anyway there you go nice and smooth i love the light um the light profile of it so that is in my shop now let me get this over here okay also, I've gotten some new uh, cottage cuts dies in in preparation for Christmas. So I want to show you these first. This is the hot toddy bear. He is adorable. Now he's got a cinnamon stick. He's got a Christmas hat, and the mug has that band across it. If you're not familiar with cottage cuts, it's all in one die so that you don't lose your pieces. So some people get confused and say, "Well, how do you cut it? You have to cut." all of that in green and then all of it in pink. No, you don't. You just line up the color of the mug with that dye right there and run it through. Then you line up the the other color here and run it through. So that's how you do that on your dye cutting machine. But I want to say too that the bear can be used all year long, not just at Christmas. Just don't put the hat on him. The mug can be used all year long. So keep that in mind. It makes it much more flexible. And with that in mind, this is Santa Bear in a pot. So he's really cute. Um, the bear, again, can be used all year long. He can be st uh, sticking out of a pocket. He can be sticking out of a folder, uh, and out of a mug. You can put him in another mug. This is a pot, and then you've got the hat, too, and the berries. And so um, every the pot and bear can be used all year long, not just at Christmas time. Now this one, same thing. It's the holiday pickup truck. It makes the truck, the tree, the presents, the uh, wreath, the bow. So if you just need a tiny bow, you've got a bow right there. If you just need presents, if you just need a tree, or if you just need the truck, you can use this truck all year long. Ugly but cute sweater. This is one. Of, these are their new um, dyes for the year. So again, you can use the sweater all year long. You can do ugly Valentine sweater if you wish, but it comes with the dye to make the sweater and all of the embellishments that you see on there. So there are a lot of little pieces. And this one is one of my faves, Holiday Cocoa. So it makes the mug, the chocolate chips, the straw, the candy cane, the cookie, marshmallows, and the beverage inside. So all of those pieces, see if I can focus there, all of those pieces in one die. And again, you can use the mug and the accessories all year long. You don't have to save them just for Christmas. And also the little reindeer can be used all year long as well. Okay, and now the other items. This is, you know, I recently went to Doodlebug and participated in their uh, weekend-long uh, crafting activity. It was wonderful, loved it, and I just love their uh, Booville Halloween stickers. This is two sheets, eight and a half by five and a half. You can, they left you this sticker here. You can punch holes in it and put it in a binder if you wish. Okay, and also from Doodle Bugs. These are called their Daily Doodles. They have come out with their own um, planners, uh, Traveler's Notebooks, 
um, now and I also put together a traveler's notebook while I was there I will leave you a link down below so you can see that I'll give you the whole doodle bug um, playlist but especially focus on that so you can see these are really high quality traveler's notebook inserts I have been making my own for quite a while I've been buying other companies I can, I can say undoubtedly these are my favorite inserts they are so well made it says that they are acid free bleed resistant i've noticed that no matter what pen i use it writes well and it's also um it's it just doesn't go through to the other side so this is the polka dots there's four of them in here and these are what we call standard size 8.27 inch by 4.33 or 210 millimeter by one 210 millimeter by 110 millimeter so the gold, and it is gold, not brown, gold and turquoise polka dots have a grid um, inside on them. And then the uh, navy and the pink ones have a um, polka dot dot grid. Okay, so there's four of them in there. I only have two of those in my shop. And then these daily doodles are the buffalo check assortment. So you got turquoise yellow, this kind of a coral color red, and the green. And the turquoise and red have the grid inserts, and the yellow and the green have the polka dot. So again, four in one pack. The last thing that I want to talk about, oops, sorry, I bumped my camera. The last thing I want to talk about is this. These are Ranger craft tags. They are called size eight or number eight tags. There are 20 of them in here. They are six and a quarter inches long by three and a quarter inches wide. Now I have found that, um, I've had these before, it's more like three and an eighth inch than three and a quarter. So I don't know why they say that. And they used to say three and an eighth, and I don't know, I've measured them, they're three and an eighth, not three and a quarter. But anyway, that's beside the point. So there's 20 of them in here. Um, and I have really gotten excited about making uh, tags ever since I went to the um, the uh, Doodlebug event as well. And so I will give you the link down below so you can see um, me making this, which is a cover for tags. So you can see how I put all of these tags into one little book here, and it holds them really well. It's very cute. This is this side of the size of a tag, and all I did was instead of being six and a quarter, I cut one quarter inch off the bottom, making them six inches. And the reason for that is when you have a six inch paper pad, it's so much easier to decorate it with a six inch paper pad and not have to do six and a quarter. I got these on purpose in my shop, and um, Again, limited quantities, so uh, I will be ordering more eventually, but I am planning on doing a challenge involving craft tags, decorating craft tags. You do not have to buy your own craft tags. You can make them. So I just want to put that out there for my challenge. Um, I want it to be nice and easy. I'll explain it when I do the challenge, and I will explain how you can make your own tags without having to purchase these. But if you want to purchase, I do have some in my shop. And so... I'm excited about all of these, um, but I'm really excited about these bone folders. <laughs> Thank you for watching.